Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well. Um, about a week ago, I got asked to shoot um, a nightclub event. I've done night photography before, as you've seen, I'll throw a picture up. Never done nightclub photography before, but I knew it'd be like super difficult with all like, the strobes and the light changing and stuff like that. It was like literally the hardest thing I've had to shoot so far. It was like ridiculous. I think it will. I don't think anything will be harder than nightclub photography. I can't think of anything anyway. So uh, yeah, let's get into the video. I'm California dream. So anyway, about a week ago, um, I got asked to shoot this nightclub event, and I was like, yeah, let's do it. A um, couple of things, don't have an external flash, I was using the flash on my camera. It's a, it was a really, really small venue. Uh, the lighting wasn't very good at all, because it's not, it's like a big venue, so they don't have like, really good lights, so the venue was really small. When I got there, I was like, I did a bit of research on it, and I heard someone say it was literally the hardest type of photography you can do, because the, it's the your environment is like your environment constantly changes. So you set your exposure for a shot, then like a second later, a strobe hits and your shot's overexposed. So I walked into the event, um, walked into the event, like got my camera out, said hello to everyone, met the DJ and all that, uh, went to take a shot and this um, I framed this woman dancing in the shot. And then as soon as my, I went to click my shutter, she just went black. Like she was she was lit perfectly, everything was fine. Took, um, hit the shutter on the camera and then she just was black, like the image was black, and I was like, ah. Oh. And then I knew I was like, this is gonna be such a tough shoot. So I thought, like, the only thing I can do is like keep messing around with my settings. I was there for like two hours, um, so I just kept messing around with my settings throughout the whole shoot, trying it. Because it wasn't the good thing is it's not like a wedding, so it's not like where you have to follow the time schedule of a wedding. You've literally got from when you get there to when you finish to do whatever you want. Like, unless um, you know, music's constantly playing, so it's not like you're gonna miss it. Um, the events manager never asked me to like get a certain song or something. He just said cover as much as you can. So the pressure was off really well, but it was still super difficult. So my sort of thought process was let's just shoot as much as I can. Let's just get as many photos as I can. And I took about 400 photos for the for about two hours. I did about two hour shoot, 400 photos, and I came out with like 51 good photos. Um, to be honest, I don't know like if that's a good ratio. I don't know if that's a really good ratio, but I came out with 51 out of 400, which is like just kind of shows a little bit how difficult it was, um, how difficult it was, and how many photos just went wrong because they were either overexposed, blurry, um, or just completely underexposed. Because thankfully, um, one of my lenses, this lens here, um, this is. Um, it's got an aperture of 1.4, so it can open really, really wide, so it lets a lot of light in, which is good. But the autofocus on it was just not working. I don't think I've even been in focus very well. It was like down there, but it was kind of at the same point, so I might get away with it. I'm supposed to be on face tracking, aren't I? Shit. Anyway, we'll just leave it like that. Uh, so yeah, so I've got this lens, which has an aperture of 1.4, which means it opens really wide and lets a lot of light in. But the autofocus just wasn't working because it's so zoomed, it's a 50 mil. Uh, prime lens, but it was on my Canon M50, so it's kind of cropped in, so it's like a bit further in than uh, 50 mil. Um, and because there was people, subjects constantly moving around the dance floor, it becomes really hard for the camera. So you focus on someone, camera's been focused, and someone jumps in the way, and the camera just starts refocusing. So with this lens, I had to continue. I had to shoot. I had to shoot in manual focus, and it became like ridiculously hard because it just wouldn't focus. I eventually, occasionally, I'd get the occasional focus point, so the camera would take the shot but it just kept going, zooming in, like focusing in and out, in and out, in and out. So I was like, I had to switch to manual focus. So that became really difficult. Then um, I thought, stuff it. So I switched back to the lens I've got on now, which is the 15 to 45 millimeter standard kit lens. It's okay, it did, did the job. It hasn't got, it's only got a 3.5 aperture when it zoomed out the fullest, which would be 15 millimeter, um, which isn't the best, but it worked. Um, it, this, that lens produced my best shots over that 50 mil, to be honest. Um, the focus seemed to work a lot better because it was more zoomed out. Um, I just had to use my flash, but the flash on the cameras, like the internal flash, is just known for being not very really good. So over, overall, it became a lot. Overall, like the shoot became a lot to do with like my post production and adding some nice tones to the colours and stuff because the photos raw were kind of a bit like. Thankfully, I shot in raw as well. I always shoot raw because. A lot of the photos were underexposed because I shot in raw, so all the details still there, not JPEG. 
um, as I, I was able to like brighten the image up. I was able to bring a lot of the details back because I shot him raw. So yeah, 100% shooting raw. And I'm not trying to like scare anyone who's watching this video just, just before they go and shoot a nightclub thing if they're just researching into it like I did. I'm not trying to scare anyone. It's just like, it's really hard. You've got to give yourself enough time to like, you've got to give, unless you've got like an external flash and then you'd be fine. Cause I tried to shoot both and you might be at a good venue with lights, but you've got to prepare yourself to like keep changing your settings and like, shoot as many photos as you can so you know you've got the photos you need. Some tips if you're going to head shoot with night photography and what I took away from it was basically that um, keep my aperture as low as possible but I've got to bump it up if I'm shooting groups of people because um, obviously if I'm using a 1.4 aperture and I'm shooting like a group of people some people are going to be in focus, some people aren't, it's going to be trash. Get an external flash, 100% get an external flash. Um, also, I'm using a mirrorless camera, so it's not full framed. Uh, full framed, uh, the sensor's bigger, so it uh, allows more lighting, whereas a mirrorless camera, the sensor's a lot smaller. It's all digital anyway, so that didn't help really either. So yeah, if you got a full frame camera, that'll really help. Um, low aperture lens, because obviously it allows more lighting. My, I, thought, I didn't like the images that were coming out on the camera on flash, but when it came to post-production, the flash images were a lot, 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 lot better than the photos that didn't have flash, but were still exposed, okay? So I'd advise taking as many flash photos as you can because when it came to, when, it, when I put the photos in post, the images that had flash on them came out like loads better. Like I could change the colors properly, it was properly exposed. So use flash as much as you can, I guess, but some places you don't have to. So yeah, when we did the shoot also, I had Jake with me doing the videography and uh, he's editing it right now. I'm gonna go ask him. How he thought it went yeah i found it quite good it was really really hard um as you mentioned it's probably the most difficult shoot you'll ever you'll ever find yourself doing the lighting and the strobes really affect the shutter speed um on the cameras but i bought myself an external flashlight and um switch it on and, I, and that really did help a lot that really did yeah that literally me. like saved the, the day didn't yeah, it did honestly, you save yeah. the videography was having that external flash boys i don't know what the hell we would have done i think that the main tip was just to keep shooting until you know you've got coverage because because of the flashlight and the, yeah. the strobes and the shutter speed's not as fast as the as the strobes, you get this black line constant on the um, video. So it is very difficult, but if you just keep moving around and keep getting a lot of coverage, then you should be fine. But yeah, good luck. But anyway, that is literally the end of the video. Um, so I got 51 photos, they're happy with them. All was good, but it was literally like the hardest thing I've done. Um, gonna start uploading weekly again, hopefully. Um, if you're watching this video and you're about to shoot some nightclub photography or you're just doing some research into it, good luck. And um, yeah, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.